Welcome back to Royal Appleberry and if this is your first time here, I am so fluke and happy you found me. So what am I doing today? Oh, matter of fact, um, this video is probably going to be three months in or something like that or two months in. Hopefully I can get it in before then. But however, Happy New Year to everyone. I want to say that for sure. Um, I have not made soap in over a month. So it is taking me quite a minute to get my crap together. So, <laughs> um, I was commissioned to make, excuse the inside of my stick blender, I swear it's washed. Um, but I was commissioned to make, uh, two cat themed soaps. Um, she said they're loosely based off of her cats. So, um, this one, she has a tabby and she has a tuxedo cat. And, uh, as far as the tabby, the tabby is more of a, a darker color, like a neutral color and black tabby and I didn't really want to do those colors because she wants one for her face and then she wants one for all over use so this one is going to be I'm gonna add some uh, okay I'm adding <laughs> rose clay to everything so here's some pink clay pink rose clay that's all I'm gonna use so I'm going to try to do some type of striation on this I haven't decided yet I'm still working as I go so this one is loosely based off of her tabby cat it is scented with rustic essentials honeybee um, I thought I had to oatmeal milk and honey but I'm all out I go through that stuff like crazy so in this pile here is colonial oatmeal um, because like I said I want to make this really delicious for her face so I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my colloidal I meant to do it in the beginning but I forgot I don't want to stick in that too much because I don't want things getting thick on me. And I might do both soaps in one video. It depends on how long it takes me to do the first soap. Get that out of there. I'm pretty sure there was colloidal oatmeal stuck up inside that blender. Okay. So I know like some of you freak out whenever you see me doing this, especially when it's still attached to <laughs> uh, the base, the motorized base. Um, I always take my finger away from the button when I do that, uh, but I understand things malfunction, so thank you for your concern, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, I really do. I know that freaks a lot of you out when I do that, <laughs> I don't mean to freak you out, darling. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I think, yeah, I think I'll use about half half full for this one and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to lighten this and then this color I don't know what color I want to make it I thought about leaving it a regular soap base I think I will but I'm gonna lighten it just a little bit so when I get my crap together I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys back because otherwise this video is gonna be 10,000 years long okay so now let me grab my fragrance um, I decided to put a little TD in here which I should probably scrape around the sides get that back in there um I, guys whenever I take a break I go soap dumb I swear I do and I know a lot of you watch that video um, about why I had been all over the place as in why I hadn't been uploading on a regular um so what I'm talking I'm gonna go ahead and pour my fragrance in so we're gonna make this lightly scented she doesn't want it too fragrant because it is for her face so we're just gonna use just a little bit this is not even two ounces um, and that honeybee smells really good. It smells a lot. No, it, it isn't the same family as, um, oatmeal, milk, and honey, but more honey for this one. And speaking of honey, I probably should have put a little bit of honey in this, but I don't think I have any down here. So, um, as I can see, this fragrance is eraser. <laughs> so I thought that I was going to whisk this in. I'll give it a go, but... I might have to uh, stick blend it, which I didn't want to do. So, but anywho, while I'm doing that. Um, yeah, so 
the reason why I took a break is because um, I took a month off. It's just because I was tired, you know. I needed to recoup and figure things out. And I would have loved to have been making soap the whole time. But um, I have another month and a half off before I go back to work. Yeah, I didn't tell a lot of you guys. I didn't update you. So this is kind of an update as well. I am going back to work. Um, uh, it's in the same feel, but it's not automotive anymore. So I'm going back to work February 18th. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I got a really, really good feeling about this new company. I just needed a clearance before I can go back to work. So um, that's why it's going to be a while before I go back. Okay, so the ricey lumps kind of came out pretty good, which is I'm very happy about. I was thinking about lightening this rose clay, but I think I'm going to... You know, I, yeah, I'm going to lighten it because I feel like once it saponifies, I'm not going to like the color of it. And <laughs> uh, soul makers get this or any craft uh, related person. So thank you so much, CC, for these gloves. I know you guys have noticed I have on black gloves. Uh, <laughs> people always ask me, well, what do you want for Christmas? And I say soap stuff. And when I say soap stuff, I don't mean like buy me molds. I mean, if you want to buy me molds, I won't be mad. But I. I mean like supplies, you know, gloves and measuring cups and spatulas. You can never ever have too many of those, you know what I mean? And I'm so glad that the ricing kind of sorted itself out. And that didn't lighten too much. TD really doesn't lighten all that well when you hand mix it. So I'm going to give that a little bit of a blast. Yeah, probably add a little bit more. But yeah, so um, up until February, I will be making loads of soap. I just have to do my annual haul because I'm pretty low on all of my oils and butters. And I meant to not buy them all until income tax because honey, let me tell you, that stuff ain't cheap. So what I'm going to do with this is do a... Kind of an in the pot swirl. So I felt like I was going to have too much cream color. All right, now how I plan to pour this is <laughs> I don't know. I had an idea and then I was just like, well, maybe that's not going to work. But I think the problem is my bucket's too big. But I'm going to try it anyway, honey. So, yeah, I'm going to just pour from one side. And I don't know what type of pattern this is going to make. I really don't. But we're going to keep going anyway. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I want to do that. Mm, no, I was going to do it on opposite sides, but I think this is good enough. I think I'll get the tabby pattern I was looking for. And yes, I know I'm making a mess. I'll get that in a second. <laughs> okay, so now that that's a little bit lighter, I can use one hand. And that's swirling. <laughs> I really didn't want to swirl. Oh, yeah, I'm making a big old mess. Let's get that back up in there. Oh, that's going to be pretty, y'all. I'm going to be using this circular mold and this is over there too a lot of you want to know you can go buy one for yourself um, so this is still pretty loose <laughs> I get it in the mold and it loosens up funny bunnies so I'm gonna let this set up a little bit and then we'll texture the top okay okay doke so I've washed up my dishes and all of that stuff and I think this is ready to be textured 
And speaking of texture, I can see the texture of the colloidal oatmeal in here, which I do love. Um, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the videos that I do on, it's just a speed version of my making. Um, on Instagram, <laughs> I just, wow, the love. Thank you guys so much for that. I really wasn't expecting. I was hoping, but I wasn't expecting to people to take to it like they did. So, you guys are always so awesome. Thank you. So, I'm just going to texture this. And again, I always get asked, <laughs> somebody said, how is it even possible for you to use your soaps with them being so big? Um, and I, they weren't being offensive, not at all. But, um. I just told them, you know, they're not as, they look big because you guys are looking at a top down view. And of course, right now, they are pretty tall. I like tall soaps, but they shrink. They do shrink. They lose water weight. So I'm just really making a mess right now. Let me get a spoon. <laughs> but yeah, they lose water weight and they become shorter over the six week cure, four to six week cure. So they're about the same size of a average size bar of soap and let me remember to bring this back i am trying my best to stay in frame because y'all i be thinking that i'm i got it i'm like yes I've, I've done it i figured it out and then i go to edit and i'm like <laughs> where's half my mold <laughs> so um i am trying to get better with that okay i think i like this better i didn't want it too peaky so there we go Oh, and someone asked me, well, matter of fact, it wasn't someone, it was my darling, Tiara Faye, over at Gypsy Faye Creations. Um, she asked, well, she said that she wanted to play music in the background in her videos, as I always do, but she was afraid that she might get flagged for copyright. Well, if you talk as much as I do, <laughs> um, the detector can't detect that what song it is. So, um, I never get flagged for playing music in the background because you basically hear me talking over the music. And music just kind of sets the tone for me. That's why I always play it. And I'm going to stop playing with this soap in a minute, I swear. Yeah, if it's like dead quiet in here, the creative juices aren't going to flow for me. They just don't work that way. I feel like I'm going to love this soap like for reals, y'all. Okay, so, and I just keep doing that stupid crap, that's for sure. Let me take this and yeah and i clean that up a little bit there we go but yeah so tr darling that's how you can listen to music in the background if you're continuously talking like don't let the music play in while you're silent for more than three to five seconds and if you do that you're fine oh my gosh guys i'm gonna do this off camera because i'm gonna bore you guys to death with this hold on Okay, so yeah, I turned the camera off and that took me like two seconds to do that. I get on my own nerves. Anyway, <laughs> so um, that's one thing I've been trying to work on too. Not like texturing my tops to death, but I don't think that'll ever stop. It just has to feel right to me. Okay, so now I'm going to put some uh, short people problems. <laughs> I thought like I was going to actually be able to reach this, my rolled, my rolled oats from where I was standing. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay this is gonna be gorgeous man I, I can just feel it so we'll just put a little bit of oats down the top nothing crazy just a little bit for embellishment sake and the fact that it already has oatmeal in it and we're gonna call this soap done so here you are darling this is your first soap that is inspired by your kitties and our cats are like super stinking cute she gave me pictures for inspiration so <laughs> they I love cats you guys know that okay so Stay tuned for the cutting because it's coming up right now. Hi darlings, welcome back to the cutting of this custom order uh, cat theme soap. So this is the one that is going to be for her face. You guys remember that? I'm not going to cut it in off because the entire thing belongs to her. The top has a little bit of soda ash but that's nothing that won't wash off. Make sure that's it. One inch, okay? Then we're going to chop into this. Oops, no we're not. We're going to lay it on the side first. And then we're going to chop and do it and see what's in it. I do like the striations so far. It feels really nice. It's been in the mold for two days. And all those speckles that you see on it is colloidal oatmeal. So this should be really good. I need to tighten this arm. 
but every time it gets humid down here it um it tightens or loosens back up should i say tighten back up yeah so that's the first cut and these striations are going to become a little bit more defined uh once the air hits it they'll look like the sides so we're going to keep cutting and i probably i'm going to cut one more piece and if this arm is just a bit too off then i'll tighten the arm yeah so it's kind of hard to see like the pattern in this soap just because uh it needs a little bit of air so whoops <laughs> all right you know what let me tighten this arm i'll be back okay so i got it tightened then i tightened it too tight <laughs> so we just had to find a happy medium okay yeah that's much nicer that arm was a bit wobbly and we can't be chopping up nobody's soaps making it look bad so yeah they are getting a little bit more color to them like that piece there so the striations the pour that i did are very very um they're very subtle but i think this will make a great face soap especially with the rose clay and the florida oatmeal now the other cat soap which you'll see next weekend Turn it down, which you'll see next weekend. That one's going to be the one that's very festive. But I do like the subtlety of this soap. I might even consider doing my bee's knees. Um, ooh, this is nice and hard too. With rose clay, I might just give it a go for one of my bee's knees. My bee's knees has been my most popular soap that I've ever made. Um, it's always sold out. <laughs> I can't seem to keep it in stock, which is a fantastic thing. Um, not that it's sold out for you all, but that you guys like it so much. So, my memory card was full. <laughs> but yeah, I was talking about my bee's knees. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not great for you guys that it's always sold out, but it is great that you guys like it so much. So, I may even consider doing a rose clay version of it. Um, I just love how hard this soap is. It's only been in the mold for two days and it is like rock hard. But during the winter seasons, it's always drier. So, um, in my soap studio, which is good for curing. Absolutely great for curing. So, there you go. I really like the simplicity of this soap. I really do. And like I said, um, these are based off of her, based loosely off her cat. So, this one especially. Um, but the tuxedo cat, um, we're going to make that catastic <laughs> thank you always you guys um just choosing me you know <laughs> for your custom orders create your custom orders it is always always an honor and i know i say it over and over again and i mean it i really do mean it because it is an honor to create soaps for you all because you can go anywhere else but you chose me and that means the world to me it really does lovely i was okay so i can kind of see like the zigzag pour that i did i think that pour would be better uh for uh a, a loaf a slab a slab mold that way you can kind of see the design pour um i do like the stray striations on the inside of this uh you can definitely see the way that i poured it in the zigzag motion but um i'm gonna try that in a slab mold as well um and it does remind me i looked at because okay i told you guys i think i told you guys uh she sent me two pictures of her cats and her one tabby he's a darker color i didn't really want to do her face soap in a darker color i want to keep it uh close to the natural side of things um but the striations uh of this soap do remind me of his fur pattern so i think i did good on that one i really do yeah that reminds me of a tabby. What about you guys? Okay, okay. So I am going to chop up the circular soap in a second. So what you guys will see next week. And then we will commence to create a kitty cat for that one. Oh, that one's cool. Why is it always the last one? <laughs> Looks like two eyes there. But why is it always the last one that uh is the best? I don't understand why it's always the last cut for me. That's the best. <laughs> 
all right guys i love hugs and kisses be awesome amazing everything you do if you like this so be sure to give a thumbs up if you're new to my channel i am so freaking happy you found me thank you for hanging out with me watch me make soap and cut soap and if you would like and you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button it is greatly greatly appreciated then you become a part of my sack what is my sack it's my stinking awesome crew that's what i call my subscribers because you guys are just that stinking awesome so love hugs and kisses be awesome amazing everything you do um and thumbs up and i'll see you guys in next week's video bye oh also don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever i post new videos because i do post them every sunday all right see ya